This video coincides with chapter 11 of the book. What we're doing here is scripting the victory and defeat conditions for our game. You can see here the custom scripts will actually be visiting quite a few of these. One thing we do want to show you here in the canvas is we have a new end of game. It's an empty game object and it holds our victory text. If I were to double click that, you can see here that we have it as you won. We can change that programmatically by referencing this text script and we will do just that. So let's get started with our health manager class. Here we reference our slider and on awake, we get that component. We set the current health to 100. So 100% is the starting condition. And we have our reduce health method here where it takes the current health and subtracts one. And then the health bar value is updated. And then on update, the value is updated also on screen. Next, we'll look at the Beetle NPC script, which is quite long. What we're looking at here is when we have a collision with the player. So if a cucumber beetle collides with the cucumber man, we want to use the health manager to reduce health. So we, we call that method reduce health. And as long as there's a contact between the two, health is being decremented from the cucumber man. Next, we'll look at the victory manager. And here on awake, we have the victory text um, as blank. And then on update, we see if the beetle count equals zero, that's one of the victory conditions, then we'll display you one. And if the cucumber excuse me, if the beetle count is zero, that means there are no beetles left, then the player one, and we'll display that. If there are no uh, cucumbers left, that means the beetles won, and we want to display to our player that they lost the game. And now the beetle manager class. We're simply updating the count of beetles that are on the screen and so that we can keep track of it and so can the player. And the last script we want to look at is our Cucumber Man Manager. And here you can see that we have three transforms, one for each of the spawn pads. And here, if there's two lives remaining, we'll respawn the Cucumber Man. If there's one life remaining, we'll do the same. And we'll also destroy the little icon of the Cucumber Man's head that's on the screen to visually indicate how many lives are left. And that's all the scripting that's required for our victory and defeat conditions. And that concludes this video.